Hello, everybody. Pastor Jeff here with the Word on Wednesday. Our epistle reading for this week comes from Ephesians chapter 1. St. Paul writes, I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We've been reminded here on Whidbey Island recently of how great it is to have the power on. We had an island-wide power outage on Friday, of course, and now uh, it's threatening once again. I'm recording this on a Tuesday and there's another windstorm blowing through. We'll see if the power holds up. It's been flickering off and on throughout the day, so we'll just have to see. Now, power outages aren't without their charms, of course. When our power went out at our house on uh, Friday, my family and I lit candles and uh, played some board games, so it wasn't entirely unpleasant, but it does get old pretty quickly. You go to absentmindedly flip the, the switch for the lights and they don't come on, and that's very frustrating. Uh, you think to yourself that maybe you're gonna cook something or run some laundry, but nope, that's certainly not happening. And heaven help everybody when those phones start to die out and they can't be recharged, right? And then when the power comes back on, it is such a great joy. We are reminded of how dependent we are on that power, on that electricity, and we're reminded just how great it is. In our reading for today, we hear St. Paul reminding the Ephesians of the greatness of God's power. It is God's power that raised Jesus from the dead. God put Jesus at his right hand so that he might continue to infuse the church with this power, this power that is above every power. Paul wants his readers to know how immeasurable the greatness of God is for us who believe. This power empowers us to live a life of faith and love and wisdom and hope. Paul celebrates how he sees this power at work in the lives of the Ephesians already, and he prays that that power would continue to course through them, that they would know and express these good gifts that he has mentioned. Sometimes we suffer from self-inflicted power outages. We unplug from word and sacrament and from prayer. Uh, things are harder than usual. It's harder than usual to stay plugged into church life these days with COVID rampant and all kinds of restrictions on how we can gather. But just as the electricity is working right now to deliver this word to you, God's power continues to be at work. God's power is at work in your life right now through this very word. As you hear this reminder from St. Paul in Ephesians, you are being plugged in to this immeasurable greatness of God's power for all who believe. This same power that raised Jesus from the dead is now being put to work in you to raise you up to a new life of faith and love and wisdom and hope. We are all completely dependent on this power. We might unplug from it from time to time, but it never goes out. It is always there. Thanks be to God. Amen.